Okay, so I, I will just say greetings. My name is Chief Many Hearts from the Mohegan Tribe. I'm pleased to offer these comments today in conjunction and collaboration with the Indian Law Resource Center. So thank you, Madam Chair, for calling on me. The Indian Law Research Center well, Resource Center welcomes this opportunity to offer comments regarding the accreditation body that will need to be established to enable the participation of indigenous governing institutions at the United Nations. First and foremost, the body must ensure that the new status and rules for indigenous governing institutions apply only to indigenous peoples and not to ethnic, national, linguistic, racial, or other groups that are in fact not indigenous. This work will require a body whose members have the appropriate expertise and who are able to give careful consideration to all applications and to seek out additional information when necessary in order to make sound decisions. The focus of this process must be on the accreditation of all genuine and legitimate indigenous governing institutions. The body should not be a selection committee as that implies that the body will select from among qualified indigenous govern governing institutions to determine which should be chosen to participate. Indeed, the task for this new body is to simply evaluate all complete applications evenly and fairly to determine whether the applicant meets established standards and criteria as an indigenous governing institution. To ensure candor, the meetings of the body should be closed, but its decisions should be matter of public record. Creation of a new body to receive, consider, and process applications and to recommend the accreditation of indigenous governing institutions for participation in the work of the United Nations is appropriate. The body must have the authority to establish its own working methods and to allow for improvement through time and practice. Regarding composition and structure, the accreditation body must include some indigenous government leaders or at minimum, must consult with indigenous government leaders, experts, or advisors. It is very important, however, that none of the experts be said to be acting in any representative capacity. Accreditation standards must be strong but flexible and responsive to the differences among indigenous governing institutions around the world. And the accreditation body must have the expertise and authority to make the necessary determinations. Such determination determinations must be final, though applicants should have the opportunity to reapply, similar to the practice of the Committee on Non-Governmental Organizations. Tabatni, thank you.